Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. I welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. A Jackson used to be my physical therapist uh, until he moved with his girlfriend Megan to Colorado. Uh, they live in the mountain in a small cabin, uh, which is about 20 miles outside of Denver. Uh, Jackson told me that the cabin is very small. It is only about 600 square feet, but they love the efficiency. Uh, he said that they don't have much of a kitchen to speak of. It is located in the back end of a large room. It contains a sink, a small countertop, and a kitchen cabinet. Uh, they have only one cooking utensil, uh, that is the Kusina 14-inch stainless steel wok that I recommended to them. Uh, this wok is capable to perform multiple cooking functions. Uh, they use it to cook everything from breakfast to dinner. Uh, they use this wok on a portable gas burner. Uh, this gas burner can be powered by either liquid propane or butane. Uh, they attach this gas burner to a liquid propane tank when they use it in the cabin. Uh, this gas burner can be also uh, filled by a liquid butane canister, uh, which they will use on their camping trip. And of course, uh, they will take the walk with them. Uh, Jason told me that one of their favorite meals is a vegetable stir-fry with salmon. They both love salmon, and they usually have salmon twice a week. Uh, using my fast cooking system, which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and templates based cooking, uh, Jackson and Megan, uh, they are able to cook this salmon dish, uh, usually in about 15 minutes from the time when they walk into the kitchen. Uh, this is possible because of advanced prepping. Uh, by spending about two hours in the beginning of the week to do the advanced prepping, they are able to cook all their meals during the week in less than 20 minutes from scratch. Uh, with template-based cooking, they are able to cook with creativity and intuition uh, without the restriction of recipes. With flavor chasing, they continue to improve the taste and texture of their dishes. Uh, Jackson told me that this is the best time of the day uh, when they cook together in the kitchen, and he always looked forward to it in the evening. Jackson and Megan developed a clever technique how to cook this vegetable stir-fry dish with salmon. I really like their approach, and here is a demonstration of a dish that I cooked last night using their technique. I purchased a one-pound portion of Atlantic salmon from the grocery store Audi. The quality of the salmon is always excellent. I have yet to be disappointed. I first cut the salmon in half. Uh, I'm going to distribute them into two separate meals. And then I slice the salmon into half inch pieces. I store the salmon pieces in plastic container uh, so they will all set up anytime I am ready to cook them. Uh, the ingredients that I'm going to use in the vegetable medley will vary uh, depending on what I have available on hand as well as uh, what my wife and I feel like to have that evening. Uh, since the cooking process is based on a basic template, so I am free to make substitutions and modifications. I'm going to start out with 2 tablespoons of canola oil uh, in my 14-inch Cucina stainless steel wok. I want to heat up the wok until it starts to smoke gently, and then I turn down the heat. And then I let the oil to smoke gently for another 15 seconds, and this is a time when I season the wok. I call this method spot seasoning because I season the wok right on the spot. I do this each time uh, before a cooking session, and this will allow me to create a non-stick cook surface. I'm going to start by briefly fry about one tablespoon of fermented black soybean. And my wife did not grow up with fermented black soybean, but she loves their flavor. Uh, frying them gives them a crispy texture, and it also makes the flavor more intense. I push the fermented black soybean to one side of the wok uh, before I put the salmon into the wok. I layer the salmon 
with the skin side down uh, on the surface of the wok. Uh, this will allow me to fry the skin and to give them a crispy texture. Uh, this makes the skin to take on a wonderful flavor that we both enjoy a great deal. And next, I add two cups of eggplant that has been prepped in the beginning of the week. And next, I add about one cup of sliced carrots that I found in the refrigerator. And my son bought this to use in his salad. Uh, but they are bigger than what I like, so I use a pair of scissors to cut them up right in the wok. And then I add about one cup of uh, red cabbage, which I already prepped. I found some paneer, uh, which is a Indian cheese. I decided I'm going to put them in it as well. I divided the wok into two halves. Uh, one half of it I used to pan fry the salmon, and the other half I used to stir fry the vegetables. And with this large flat surface area, the Cucina 14 inch standard steel wok is perfect for this purpose. I pan fry the salmon on one side uh, for about two minutes until the skin start to turn golden brown and crisp. And then I use the pair of tongs uh, to lay the salmon on the side. Uh, this will allow me to fry the salmon uh, much quicker this way. Uh, this will only take about 10 or 15 seconds, and then I turn the salmon and fry the other side. Uh, there is a distinct advantage to cut the salmon into thin strips. Uh, this way will allow them to cook much faster. Uh, by this time, the vegetable will cook pretty much to the doneness that I want. I add about one cup of thinly sliced portobello mushroom to the wok. I add the mushroom at a later stage of this cooking process because I want them to be lightly cooked. I add a touch more cooking oil to the mushroom because I want them to be covered with oil so I will have the condition for the Mela reaction. I am now at the final stretch in cooking this dish. I switch to a wok spatula so I can stir fry all the contents together. I gently toss the ingredients because I do not want to break up the salmon pieces. The last ingredients I'm going to add to the dish is a handful of cherry tomatoes, which I really enjoy. I'm going to season the dish with a combination of two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of hoisin sauce, and one teaspoon of fried chili in oil sauce. With a few quick mix, the dish is ready to serve, and the total cook time is a little bit under 8 minutes. Cooking this dish is a great example of template-based cooking. And the key feature of this template is to cook the salmon and the vegetable together in the same wok. And this has many advantages, and the primary one is that it is more efficient and save time. Uh, the second advantage is that by mixing the salmon with the vegetables together, it creates a more complex flavor and texture. I told Jackson the genius of this approach is by cutting the salmon into slices. Uh, this greatly facilitates the cooking of the salmon and also allows the pieces to be cooked more evenly. Uh, furthermore, by dividing the wok into two halves, one can use one half for cooking the salmon, another half for cooking the vegetables. This will greatly facilitate the cooking process. Before I learned this method from Jackson, I used to cook the salmon and the vegetables separately. And then they will be combined together. Instead of 8 minutes in cooking this dish, it will take me about 15 minutes. Saving 7 minutes to cook this dish is not a big deal. But if you are tired and you really want to have something ready to eat quick, then this 7 minute is a deal breaker for you to decide whether you are going to cook or not. And this is a great template because you can change the vegetables so you can have a makeover of the dish each time when you cook. By flavoring the dish differently, it will allow you to create almost infinite variations. And when you combine with advanced prepping with many ingredients that you can choose from, uh, you can make 
cooking this dish with a lot of creativity. This dish provides a clear example of all the factors that make home cooking sustainable. First and foremost is the ability to create a dish that are tailored exactly how you like it. For this dish, I have included the ingredients that I enjoy and I also flavor the dish to my preference. And nobody is able to cook this dish for me. From this standpoint, I become my best personal chef. Uh, this is the result of template based and flavor chasing uh, because you will constantly improve the dish that you cook. Uh, the second factor that makes home cooking sustainable uh, is through advanced prepping and stir frying, uh, you can cook a meal in less than 30 minutes. Uh, to be able to cook your meal from scratch with all fresh ingredients is not only make your meal more flavorful, but it also more healthy for you. And when you combine flavor chasing, stir frying, advanced prepping, and template based cooking, it makes home cooking creative, fun, as well as intuitive. So each night when you walk into the kitchen to cook, it is a process of exploration and discovery. Below the video, you will find links to the video that I refer to, as well as links to the products that I mentioned in this video. I post a video each day to help you to adopt my fast cooking system. If you would like to learn more about this cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.